Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice. Today we're going to talk about your ears, why they plug, why little kids get ear infections, and what tubes are. So let's go ahead and just draw the head first. Okay, there's your head, there's your ears. You've got the ear canal. Your ear drum is at the end of the ear canal. And if you think of your ear canal as a little toilet paper tube with a piece of saran wrap at the bottom end of it. So when we look in your ears, we're looking down the toilet paper tube and we're looking at the saran wrap. Uh, behind the saran wrap or your eardrum is your middle ear. And if you want to think of your middle ear as a coffee can turned on its side with the lid is the outside edge or your eardrum. Here's your nose. Here's the back of your throat and your tongue. Uh, we have what's called the eustachian tube. That's a little tiny straw or tube that drains the middle ear into the back of the throat. It's more of a coffee stir than an actual straw. It's flat and closed most of the time, but that eustachian tube is what drains into the back of the ear. When you get pressure in your ear on an airplane and you swallow or chew gum or yawn to get your ears to pop, you're moving the muscles in the back of the throat, and that eustachian tube opens for a moment and the pressure rushes in or rushes out. Let's go ahead and draw a little bit bigger picture of the eardrum. So uh, your eardrum, again, a coffee can turned on its side, your middle ear like that, and then your eustachian tube down at the bottom uh, off on the side. When you get an ear infection, you get fluid in the ear or pressure on the eardrum and that causes discomfort. When we have little kids that get ear infections, what happens is their eustachian tube is not well formed. A baby's face is more round and the eustachian tube is more horizontal. When you get older, three years of age or so, your face starts to elongate more like an adult. That eustachian tube actually tips more up and down and is a more efficient drain. So as a little baby, uh, they are more prone to ear infections. It's like going on an airplane and you can't get your ear to pop. This is also why little kids cry on the airplane is because they have ear pain because they can't get their ears to pressurize. When a little kid gets tubes in their ears, what a tube is, is it's actually what's called a grommet. And if you've seen like on a tarp, um, a grommet is a little button like that, or a, a little reel. It's got a flange on each side and a little hole. So what they do is they put a hole in your eardrum, they put this little tube through it, and that tube ventilates the ear. So instead of the ear trying to drain into the eustachian tube, it can drain to the outside. So here's your uh, kid's ear again, the ear, the ear canal the eardrum. It's got this little grommet or button in the middle of the eardrum. And instead of having the eustachian tube drain the ear like it normally would, fluid and pressure can drain out of this little button or grommet. Uh, we can also use that hole in the ear to put antibiotics in. So sometimes if a kid has tubes in his ears and he still gets an ear infection, uh, we can actually give him ear drops to get into the ear because there's a hole in the eardrum. Uh, when an adult gets ear pain or ear pressure with a cold or sinus, we'll give them decongestants. We can give them nose sprays and have them tip their head back and let that medicine drip down the back of the throat. And that coats the opening of the eustachian tube and will get their ear to pop or to pressurize. So eustachian tube, pressure in your ears is called eustachian tube dysfunction when that tube doesn't function correctly. A little baby with a round head has horizontal eustachian tubes. They don't drain properly. We'll put a hole in the eardrum, put this little tube tube or grommet in the eardrum, otherwise it'll scab over in a couple of weeks and close, and that leaves a permanent opening or hole in the ear until the drum or the tube falls out of the drum for in a year or so. Uh, when you get older, you take decongestants and nose sprays when your ears are plugged. Uh, Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.